and we can just click on start for free so you need to log in you can use your google account to log in or you can use your facebook or if you have an apple account you can use it or you can sign up with your email address and password okay or you can log in with adobe id if you have any that you've subscribed to any of their bundles you can easily use it to sign in for this video i want to sign in with my google account so i just click on sign in with google so i have just signed in okay so you can see a bunch of templates you can create a new project so the first thing you notice is that you can start from a template okay you can see a bunch of template templates instagram stories instagram posts facebook posts and um, posters you can see multiple posters you want to design logos you can go over here flyers collage and many more over here you can see book cover album cover youtube thumbnails and many more resumes you can do that you can name it you can design anything from here and then down here you can try a quick action okay recommended images you can remove background you can convert to give to resize video you can resize images you can merge videos and change speed of a video okay very easily you can see a bunch of other things you can do change speed reverse video trim video crop video and many more okay you can check images from here resize image remove background convert to jpeg convert to png videos you can do quite a lot in terms of video editing over here it's uh, include resizing margin and many more you can do pdf which has been just put in newly convert to pdf convert from pdf to other formats edit, te edit text and images organize pages and combine files multiple files for using this very key feature okay and over here you have start from popular templates these are very very popular templates you can select any of them you can see these are instagram stories these are instagram posts and many more trending backgrounds you can select from any of them and just use it for your content so let's say we are going for posters and we can click on these to see all all right so you can see the category these are ads the events and these are health but you see some of them are paid with anyone you see with this crown sign it's it means it's uh it's not a free uh, poster it's paid poster but then to your left over here you can categorize them accordingly you can just enable only the free ones by just coming to show only free versions and you can see only free ones around so it's up to you to select anyone and then kind of play around with it and edit it accordingly so for example let's say we are going with this first one and uh, let's say we are great from this template you want to create your content from this very template once you click on it, it's going to load this very template and you can play around with it very easily. So you can see the clarity and you can see other features that you can bring in. For example, you are in the text mode. So you can edit quite a lot from here. So for example, you can just double click on it from the inside and you can edit the content. For example, let's say public speaking masterclass. And you can see it over here. You can as well resize from here and you can see you can make it right now is 117 you can make it 100 you can increase it and then you can come down over here public speaking masterclass then you can increase the size accordingly all right right now it's 76 you can make it 100 if you so wish and you can see it has increased you can just resize it to a very cool place and you can put in the tips over here what you want people to learn from this master class you can just double click and you can just write over here directly let's say eliminate stage fright eloquence and confidence all right so you can resize accordingly you can hold over here and resize it so you can put in the website name okay join us on this website you can just put the website directly okay you can just select join us or maybe academy come and you can see it over here very easily so you can edit virtually anything and you can play around with the coloration by just mere selecting and just coming over here and you can change the color accordingly you can see it so easily you can change this item also by just clicking you can change it you can play around with the alignment you can play around with the curved images you can make it curved and put in any kind of for default you can play around with the spacing as well you can increase or decrease the spacing you have the option to bring in some effects in terms of shapes shadow and everything you can enable shadow and you can see it over here and you can bring out the image of that shadow how you want it to be and how the uh, the intensity you can play around with it from here okay so you can do quite a lot as regards text and you can do quite a lot you can bring in a new image so for example we don't want this image we can just select it and click on replace but then we have to select an image from here that we want to replace it with so if we don't have any image from here from the existing ones 
we can just so let's say we say something like public speaking and search so you can see anything any image that you think can send in the message you are trying to send you can just easily pick it up and put it on so it's, for example let's say something like this you can easily uh, click on it and it's going to replace the existing picture over here okay and you can see how it brought in the picture very nicely so you can remove the background if you so wish of that particular picture that you brought in or you can leave it if you so wish okay so you can see you can change this uh, this coloration because right now it's not too visible you can make it something like something like this is not also clearly visible no uh, no i'm putting some custom coloration usually i move around until i kind of get it to exactly how i want it to be all right so we can just uh, move this a little bit down and we can double click on the image and try to to reduce the size in a little bit and if you so wish you can remove this delete the cell if you so wish you can easily remove it and you can have it just like so and you can edit the cutout okay so you can say eliminate stage fright with eloquence and confidence so you can bring in you can edit anything from here the background of the entire uh, poster you can change it right so at the at the, at the at the left over here you have a library of quite so many things that you can search from maybe elements there are a lot of elements over here you can create a library of things over here and you have logos if you want to include a logo add your logo or unleash your brand's potential okay by just so you can create a logo by just clicking on these two you can add your own logo or you can create one from here so, so you can just click on and this okay so you have the option to upload your logo from here or you can kind of design yours from here you can choose a text you can just put in and it will help you to generate your own logo so feel free to try it from here if you are interested in that and then over here you can change the background right now there is quite a lot of backgrounds over here you can see the trending ones you can just select from any of them and you can easily just by mere clicking it will change the entire background okay so you can see you can move it and you can just drag to increase the sizing so that you can cover everything you can change the layer order for example you can click on this and you can send it to the bottom send it to the bottom again send it to the bottom and you can have all the other images coming out accordingly so you can send it to the to the bottom you can see the pictures coming out so right now we can change the text format to something like white so it becomes much more clearer so let's say we take it to somewhere here and you can see it coming out same thing goes here we can change it to something like white right you can select over here as well and you can see it over here and the same way you can do quite a lot and you can see the poster is now coming out clearly okay so it's uh, making more sense so you can select and do quite a lot you can check on design assets you can have multi multiple of assets that you can bring in and have for your content so you can just easily drag and drop anything and then you can resize it accordingly as you uh, drag and drop you can resize it to make it a little bit smaller and then put it somewhere okay depending and then you have icons you can bring in different icons Over here, you can bring in different icons. According to your message, you can easily drag and drop, and then you can resize accordingly. You can play around with the color as well. Okay, you can resize it and put in any kind of any kind of uh, icons you want. You can search for the icons as well if you want. Over here, maybe it's a rectangle. If not, you can see a bunch of them from here. You can search for anything and just drag and drop as fast as it will make meaning to your poster or to your which will add value to your content you can easily bring it in you can have photos from here we've just shown how to bring in photos because we just included this into our uh, poster you can bring in different kind of text from here uh, depending you can add your own text directly or you can check from here and pick on anyone and then you can edit accordingly all you need to do is just to drag and drop it inside the poster and you can see it over here you can easily 
play around with it and edit it accordingly and then you have a bunch of templates you can also always refer back and you can check from the templates and you can kind of edit or you can rephrase or you can change the format as you so wish you have discover over here also where you can have multiple other templates to play around with uh, templates text photos you can discover anything and you can bring it into your poster okay so as you logged in with your account the work is being saved every minute you have the option to undo and redo and you can check my project you can put in you can duplicate a project you can rename it if you so wish and you have different kind of options over here so once you're done you can check on colors you can change the coloration this is a color palette for example when you click on this it's going to change the text and overall coloration to something else when you click on this it's going to change it to something else the overall looks you can click on this also and it's going to give you a different coloration as well also this one can give you a different coloration also this can give you a different coloration and i think i prefer this and once you, you, pre, you can play with the animations as well quite a lot to change in this regards the animation you can glow you can fade you can slide if you so wish depending on how much you have photo animations you can play around with this as well you can redesign resizing is a, is a pro feature so you cannot do it uh, right now but once you're done you can play around with all these features and once you're done you're satisfied with what you have designed you can always come over here and click on download and you have the option to download in png or jpeg or pdf okay so that's the first option you can download in png which is the default one you can just click on start download and it's going to download it free of charge for you all right you can see it over here it has just downloaded so you just click on it to have a clean preview of it so you can see you can see the resolution is quite fantastic and nice uh, this is just uh, just to show you how you can do another thing you can do is you can share the, the document or the the poster with and you can publish it online so any other person can use it uh, you can invite friends to work together on the same poster so they can edit as well make a template with this poster so anytime you come over you want to work you don't have to create your own template or you don't have to work on other people's template you can always work on your template and you can send this to google drive issues if you so wish with just one click so ladies and gentlemen this is a bit about how to use the adobe cloud express to create posters for your own content marketing and uh, what they are about if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos i'll see you in my next video bye